Well, hi, boys and girls. It's Mr. Wasserman, and today we're going to be looking at liquid measures, or how to measure capacity. We're in our home links for Unit 7, Lesson 1. And uh, the first four problems, friends, are something that you're going to have to figure out on your own because it requires you to look around your house. Let's look at the instructions. It says, find at least one container that holds each of the amounts listed below. Okay, so that's going to require you to take a field trip into your kitchen and look for different items. Like, for example, a jug of orange juice is going to be about the size of a gallon. Okay, or a container of milk. Okay, now most of us buy milk in gallons, but sometimes we might buy something smaller, like say a quart of uh, creamer for our coffee. Coffee mate comes in uh, 32 ounce jugs. Okay, so when you look at the item, you're looking to size it and try to figure out about how big is a quart compared to a pint compared to a cup and so forth. Now you might be thinking to yourself, but Mr. Wassman, I don't remember all those conversions. How do I do that? Well, if you are looking at Homelink 7.1, that means you are operating out of this everyday math curriculum, which means you have access to your student math journal. And on the inside front cover of your student math journal, oh, there you go, you have a table of measurements, which gives you the conversions between different measurement uh, units. Like, for example, how many feet are in a yard, or how many days are in a week, or how many quarts are in a gallon. So if you have access to your math journal, volume two, look at that table of measure. Or you can just consult the uh, math journal assignment for Unit 7, Lesson 1, which ties into this homework. So you've prob probably already looked at that uh, assignment. Uh, but if you go to page 228 in your uh, math journals, you'll find a conversion uh, graphic as well. Okay? But back to the problem at hand. What is an object or a container that would hold about one pint? Well... If you've ever drank out of one of these things, then you have been exposed to a pint-sized bottle, okay? Water bottles are actually usually 500 milliliters, which is a little bit more than a pint. So if you were to read the, uh, the, the label, and of course the, uh, the pixelation of this picture makes it difficult to read, but usually underneath the uh, front label or the, the name of the product, you're going to see the amount or the volume of whatever it is the container is holding. So in this case, a water bottle is typically about 16 ounces when it's a pint, but pint-sized containers are usually 16.9 ounces because that's the equivalent of 500 milliliters, okay? But you gotta just take part in a little scavenger hunt around your house, okay? But let's look at uh, these conversion problems down here at the bottom, okay? So it says two quarts is the equivalent of blank number of pints. Well, again, it would be helpful to know how many pints are in one quart. Well, when I go to my conversion table, one quart is the equivalent of two pints, okay? So one quart is two pints. Well, if I have two quarts, Okay, so if I have a quart that is the equivalent of two pints, I'm basically multiplying two times two, right? And of course, two times two is four, so that would give me four pints, right? Okay, so what happens if I have six pints? Well, if I have six pints, that's the equivalent of three quarts. Well, how did I get that? Well, for every quart, it's worth two pints, and two times three equals six. So in this case, what I was doing here is I was multiplying two times two equals four. But here, I was using my knowledge of multiplication uh, facts to come up with the division problem. Six divided into groups of two would give me three. So six pints divided into quarts would give me three quarts. Okay. And that's how I would go about solving these problems, okay? Only gets a little tricky when we get into two and a half gallons, okay? I know how many quarts are in one gallon. How many quarts are in a half a gallon? Well, 
if there are four quarts to every gallon, okay, half of a gallon would be half the number of quarts. And I'll let you deduce that on your own. Okay? This is pretty straightforward, friends. I think you'll knock this out of the park with no problems. But in case there are questions, in case you are confused, you need to talk to your math teacher. They will happily help you with these conversions. Okay? Well, good luck with this homework, and I will talk to you again soon. Thanks.